Hello everyone, and welcome to another Engine Snack. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler, and we have got a treat today. Another game of Vice, this time against Marvin, in the TCC Season 22 League 3. Um, well, engines have, uh, have been uh, very tactically talented for many, many years. But um, it's very impressive to see how good strategically they all are, and not just the top engines, but also you know the second and third tier of engines that we uh, we're seeing at the moment in the lower leagues of the TCC. And uh, this game of Vice is a is a very nice example. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of uh, Tigran Petrojan's famous king marches. Um, this is a very good example, a very famous example uh, that uh, of Petrojan against uh, the German grandmaster Unziker, played in 1960. And in this position, Petrojan wanted to advance the kingside pawns. There's a great grip on the queen side there, but uh, he wanted to advance the kingside pawns to uh, open up another uh, flank of attack and uh, finish off the game. But um, obviously, with the, with uh, Petrojan's king on the king side, um, well, that involves a certain danger. So Petrojan actually, um, you know, very nicely just uh, took some time just transferring the king to the queen side lovely and safe and then um, having waited probably for uh, the adjournment he was ready to begin with a, a king side attack it's uh, you know a very uh, a typical thing of petrojan and uh, you know the really good strategists uh, could all do this it used to be difficult for uh, engines to find these sort of plans but nowadays they just find them very very easily and here we see vice doing something similar um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, white stands very, very well. Got some really nicely entrenched pieces, you know, a great knight on e5. Um, we've got uh, this pressure against uh, b7. a5 is a little bit weak as well. Um, I mean, black can cover it by putting a knight to b4, but that knight's not doing, uh, you know, a great deal from there. Um, yeah, the obvious way here, you know, really the place where you've got the break is something on the king side, maybe with h5. But, uh, of course, you know, the king is uh, in a little bit of danger. And, for example, the knight on e5 is pinned to the king at the moment. So Vice just uh, takes the plan of going king f2, king e1, rook e2, rook f2. Just uh, redevelops the, uh, uh, the rook there. And then just plays the king over to d1 and c1. And then once that's happened, uh, well there's plenty of danger really you know i mean uh, g5 is happening h5 is happening at some stage vice takes the opportunity to uh, to put the king even further to safety and then when the moment is right g5 comes in and it's curtains it's uh, just all too dangerous for um, for uh, for black and here marvin decided that it had to give up the exchange in order to survive but well Vice won this very, very easily. There's still many, many weaknesses, and actually the, the Black King still isn't safe. But um, um, a really gorgeous idea there, and again, really impressive how easily, you know, uh, engines can, uh, can find these plans now. You know, transfer the King over to the other side in order to be able to advance your, uh, your, the pawns on the other wing safely. And um, yeah, Vice doing a great job uh, of uh, discovering its inner Petrojan there. Really nice uh, uh, manoeuvre.